ओके स्टूडेंट्स लेट्स गेट स्टार्टेड विद ओ लेवल्स एंड आई जी सी एस ई फिजिक्स कैनेटिक मोलिकुलर थ्योरी एम सी क्यूज सो लेट्स लुक एट द फर्स्ट एम सी क्यू वॉट इज अ प्रॉपर्टी ऑफ बोथ लिक्विड्स एंड गैसेज ओके सो वॉट प्रॉपर्टी डू लिक्विड एंड गैसेज बोथ ओबे दे फिल दियर कंटेनर्स नो ओनली गैस डज दैट दे आर इनकम्प्रेसिबल ओनली लिक्विड डज दैट दे कैन फ्लो येस लिक्विड एंड गैस बोथ कैन फ्लो लेट्स मूव ऑन टू द सेकेंड वन A cold solid is placed on top of a hot solid. Okay, let's say you have a cold solid like this. This is placed on top of a hot solid like this. Okay, the thermal energy is transferred from the hot solid into the cold solid. Okay, what is the explanation for this? A hot solid expands. No, energy is transferred from one particle to the next. Yes, this is possible. Let's further move ahead. Which row describes the shape and volume of a liquid at constant temperature? The shape of a liquid is not fixed. The volume of a liquid is fixed. C is your answer. Let's move ahead. Which conditions produce the greatest rate of evaporation? You have to produce the greatest rate of evaporation. If the temperature is high, the evaporation will be great. If there is a drought, that means what? There is low humidity. If the humidity is low that means evaporation will be greater and if you have a larger surface area then to evaporation will be greater a is your answer let's see this a block of aluminium is heated okay so a block of aluminium is heated what happens to the kinetic energy and the potential energy of the molecules okay so as the temperature increases always remember kinetic energy increases and potential energy also increases so is there any option like that a is your answer as the block of aluminium is heated as you are providing heat to the aluminium block your temperature is increasing this increases your kinetic energy and also increases your potential energy a is your answer so this is the question so let's leave it a gas is enclosed in a container of fixed volume okay so let's say we have a container like this of fixed volume okay the gas gains heat energy from an external source okay so let's say we are providing heat energy here okay what happens next what happens to the molecules of the gas okay so as you are providing heat energy to the molecules what will happen will they move further apart no why because they are of a fixed volume they move faster inside the container yes b will be your answer so yeah a can't be your answer d also can't be your answer we have checked that as well b is your only answer let's further move ahead let's see this the diagram shows a glass flask uh, full of water okay at 10 degree centigrade okay a long glass tube passes through the bunge into the water okay the water level is at point x okay initially the water level is at point x okay the flask is placed in hot water and the water level in the tube rises to y okay so the water level rises from x to y what is the reason for this why does the water level rises the flask contracts no the flask contracts no the flask expands and the water contracts no whenever you are providing the materials expand they never contract the flask expands less than the water d is your answer let's further move to this question the diagram shows air trapped in a flask by a small volume of water in a thin tube okay when the flask is held in a student's hand the small volume of water first moves from p to q and then to r so basically you are moving from p to q and then to r okay so why is this happening let's see the flask contracts no the flask expands and no air will never contract the flask expands and then the air expands less than the flask no the flask expands when the flask will expand this will cause the level to drop why because if the flask expands there will be more space in this flask but soon enough the air expands more than the flask and causes the level to rise to r d is your answer let's see this some gas is trapped in a closed container the gas is cooled 
and the volume of the container is kept constant okay so your temperature is decreasing and your volume is remaining constant okay which law will be applied here pressure is directly proportional to temperature if temperature is decreasing pressure will decrease as well what happens to the gas molecules they collide with the walls more often no they contract no they get closer no they move slowly yes d will be your answer why because as your temperature decreases your kinetic energy will decrease and if your kinetic energy decreases your velocity will decrease let's move to the next one the diagram shows four changes of state w x y z okay if you are going from liquid to gas w change if you are going from liquid to gas basically you are boiling a and b gets cancelled out if you are going from gas to liquid you are undergoing condensation okay both of them have condensation let's see why if you are going from solid to liquid if you are going from solid to liquid you are undergoing melting d is your answer let's see this what increases when a liquid becomes a gas at its boiling point okay so your liquid is becoming a gas and the temperature is remaining constant what will happen the average kinetic energy of the molecules no because if the temperature is constant the kinetic energy will also be constant so kinetic energy doesn't increase this can't be my option the molecular size no this is a very absurd option i i usually laugh at these options because how can the molecule size increase the molecular spacing increases yes c will be your answer because in a liquid the molecules will be close together however in a gas the molecules will be far away like this so yeah c is your answer let's move ahead a substance consists of particles that are close together and moving past each other so this is a liquid okay at random the average speed of the particles is gradually increasing if the average speed is increasing that means kinetic energy is increasing that means temperature of the liquid is increasing let's see a gas being heated no a liquid being heated is the correct answer let's see this which statement explains how a pressure is exerted by a gas on a container okay let's say this is the wall of a container how will pressure be exerted on the wall of the containers by molecules hitting these walls by molecules hitting these walls so let's see if we have any option like that gas molecule collide with other gas molecules no gas molecule collide with the walls of the container let's move to the next one the diagram shows the inside of a refrigerator okay when the refrigerator is first switched on what happens to the air near the cooling unit okay what happens to the air near this cooling unit since this unit is providing cooling the air near this cooling unit will become what will become less in volume it will contract and if the volume decreases have we studied that density is equals to mass over volume if volume will decrease density will increase so the particles of this air move closer together a and b will not be your answer and the density increases t is your answer let's see this an electrical heater is placed in a beaker of cold oil as shown okay the heater is switched on what happens to the liquid at x okay what happens to the liquid here in the surrounding the liquid here expands the volume increases as the liquid expands we know density is inversely proportional to volume if the volume increases the density will decrease so it becomes less dense and it rises b is your answer simple as that let's see this in an experiment the volume of a gas in a cylinder is measured as the pressure of the gas is increased okay the pressure of the gas as you can see is increasing constantly and consequently the volume is decreasing okay what is a possible explanation of these results as the pressure is doubled gas starts leaking into the cylinder no because this will cause the volume to increase as the pressure is doubled gas starts leaking out of the cylinder yes this can be my option 
because this causes the volume to decrease. Let's see this. A gas syringe contains a volume V1 of gas at pressure P1. The volume is reduced to P2 without any change of temperature. That means your temperature is constant. Okay. What is the expression for the change in temperature? Okay. So basically, if your temperature is constant, which law can we apply? Boyle's law. And what does Boyle's law state? P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. What will be your P2? P1, V1 divided by V2 is equal to your P2. You have to calculate change in pressure. Change in pressure will be equal to what? P1, V1 divided by V2 minus the original pressure that is V1. Any answers like that? C is your answer. Let's further move ahead. The pressure of some air trapped is varied. Okay, the mass and the temperature of the air remain constant. Okay, again, if the temperature is remaining constant, Boyle's law will be applied. Which graph shows the volume of the air varies with pressure? Okay, so B can't be my option. C can't be my option. I will also reject D. Why? Most people might have selected D, but I will reject it. Why? Because can you see on the x-axis you have 1 over V? If you plot pressure on the y-axis and 1 over V on the x-axis, then you will get a straight line. A will be your answer. When would your graph be like D? When will you get a graph like D? If you have plotted vo volume on the x-axis, then you would have gotten a graph like this inversely proportional. But if you plot 1 upon V on the x-axis, you will get a straight line passing through the origin. A is your answer. Let's see question 6. Air is trapped in a cylinder by a piston. Okay. The pressure of air is P and the length of the column is 20 cm. Okay. The piston is moved outwards. The length of the column increases by 40 cm. Okay. The temperature of the air remains constant. That means we can apply Boyle's law. Okay, what is the new pressure? So what can we do? P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. Okay, what was the initial pressure? P. What was the initial volume? 20 centimeter multiplied by the area. We have to calculate the final pressure that is P2 multiplied by area multiplied by what is the final length? 40 plus 20 that is 60. Area, area cancelled out. P into 20 divided by 60 is equal to your pressure 2. This becomes 1. This becomes 3. P over 3 is equal to your P2. B is your answer. Let's further move ahead. A fixed amount of gas is trapped inside a metal can. Okay. So a fixed amount of gas, that is volume, is constant. Okay. The temperature of the gas decreases. Okay. But the volume does not change. So temperature is decreasing. So, and volume is remaining constant. Which law will we apply? Temperature is directly proportional to pressure. Now, how does this change affect the gas molecules, kinetic energy and the pressure inside the metal can? If you decrease the temperature, what have we discussed again and again in this video? Temperature decreases, velocity will decrease, kinetic energy will decrease. So, C and D will get cancelled out. And since temperature is directly proportional to pressure, if temperature decreases, pressure will also decrease. A is your answer. Let's see this. Air is trapped in a cylinder by a piston. The piston is moved inward so that the volume of the air reduces. Initially, can you see the volume was 4 points. Now the volume is at the 2 marker. So volume has halved. Volume is halved. Okay. The density of the air in the syringe at initial volume is this. Okay, so we have studied that density is inversely proportional to volume. If volume has halved, what will happen to the density? It will double. Density will go from 0 0.0012 to 2 multiplied by 2.0024. C is your answer. Let's further move ahead. Let's see this. The diagram shows a diver 20 meter below the surface of a lake. Okay, this is the diver. The total pressure at its depth is 5 into 10 raised to the power of 5 pascals. Okay. 
An air bubble has a volume of 0.6 centimeter cube. Okay, as it leaves the diver. So here, an air bubble has a volume of 0.6 centimeter cube and a pressure of 3 into 10 is the power of 5 Pascal. It rises through the surface where the pressure is 1 into 10 is the power of 5. Here, the pressure is what? Pressure is 1 into 10 is the power of 5 Pascals. Okay. The temperature of the air bubble remains constant. So, which law we have to apply? Boyle's law. Let's apply it. Let's say this is pressure P1, this is volume V1, this is pressure P2. P1, V1 is equals to P2, V2. What is P1? 3 into 10 is the power of 5. What is volume? 0 0.6. What is the pressure? 1 into 10 is the power of 5. What is V2? Place V2 here. This 10 is the power of 5. 10 is the power of 5 gets cancelled out. Your final volume comes out to be what? 1.8 centimeter cube is your volume 2. Uh, C is your answer. Let's see this question. A sealed packet containing air and a snack is purchased at an airport. The sealed packet is taken on board an aircraft. During the flight, the packet becomes larger. Okay. What causes the packet to become larger? If the packet becomes larger, this means the volume inside it is increasing. How can the volume inside increase if the pressure inside the packet decreases? Let's see if we have any option like that. The density of the air, no. The mass of the packet, no. The pressure of the air outside decreases. C is your answer. Let's, uh, this is a very easy question. We have to just state Boyle's law. That is P1V1 is equal to P2V2. C is your answer. Let's see this. Which diagram represents the change in arrangement of the molecules in a solid as it melts? Okay. So we have to show the melting of a solid. Uh, a looks like the correct option. This looks like a solid. This looks like a liquid. Let's move on to the next question. Yeah, let's do this. Uh, gas is trapped inside a cylinder by a movable piston. The length of the gas column is 20 centimeter and the pressure inside is P. Okay. So initially it is P1. Okay. The piston is pulled out a distance of 30 cm so that the length of the column is now 50 cm. The temperature does not change. So which law will we apply? Boils. Law. Okay. So P1, V1 is equal to P2, V2. P1 is P into A into the length that is 20. P2 into area into the length that is 50. Area, area cancel out. Pressure into 20 divided by 50 is equal to P2. 2P over 5 is equal to your pressure 2. Is there any answer like that? A is your answer. 